हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिजियो ट्रेंड्स लास्ट वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट दिस समरी और वी कैन से आउटलुक ऑफ हाउ यू कैन बिकम अ लाइसेंस फिजिकल थेरापिस्ट इन यूएसए एंड दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू ऑल दैट वॉट ऑल कैटेगरीज ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट इन एन एग्जामिनेशन friends this is very important that if you are really very serious about your american dream and you want to appear for the npt examination you should know what all categories of questions are being asked because this exam is specially comprehended in such a way that questions regarding like uh, your patient's conditions then uh, what all interventions you are going to give what will be your administrative part what will what will be your home care health part what will be your part with other physicians or other health care professionals and combined or comprehensive knowledge of all that which you are going to face the situations when you are working as a physical therapist in usa so this exam is not just they want to know your theoretical knowledge but they want to know what exactly or how exactly you are capable of applying that knowledge in the practical situations and that is why these questions are divided in certain categories which i am going to talk today so let's first understand what is the again what are uh, how many categories are there so there are only mainly five to six categories in which the questions are divided we already know that there are 200 questions which you have to answer correctly out of 800 you have to get minimum 600 to get the npt correct but it's not like only 200 questions you are being asked you are asked 250 questions out of which 50 are kept by fsbpt separately for the research purposes so those questions may not be included in your marks now let's go directly to understand okay what all categories are there first the category a so category a is basically clinical applications of foundational sciences for pediatric and adult population total 29 questions are asked which are 14.5 percentage of npt now this category also is subdivided in categories like cardio or let's say ortho neuro then uh, uh, integumentary then uh, met metabolic endocrine gastrointestinal genito urinary and multiple system involvement and all this category have separate questions so in that your cardio is going to get five questions musculoskeletal six questions neuromuscular six questions integumentary three questions and uh, metabolic two gastrointestinal one and uh, genito urinary one and multiple system involvement five questions so like this total number of 29 questions are asked from this category so friends this category mainly involves clinical application of foundational science in like anatomy and physiology of system pharmacology related specific systems or effects of activity and exercises physiological response to environmental factors and aquatic therapy motor learning and control and such things second category what we have is category b which is examinations of the patients in pediatric and adult population this is strictly to the examination part only total number of questions which are asked are 26 and this contains 13 percentage of npt questions this test and measures their applications so basically like uh, this includes like all the test and how application of this test will be there on the different patients plus there will be informations collected by during system uh, reviews and history then kinesiology kinematics movement analysis and everything in this also sub categories are there same sub categories cardio you are going to get four questions musculoskeletal nine questions neuromuscular nine questions integumentary three questions metabolic or endocrine one question and this is how you get 26 question from this category next category is category c in category c you get foundations for evaluation of differential diagnosis and prognosis for pediatric and adult population again in this 47 questions are there and this category contains of 23.5 percentage of the npt this category as we as i just told you this basically is about differential diagnosis diagnostic imaging medical or surgical management 
as well as psychiatric and psychological conditions, multiple system involvement and conditions or pathologies affecting connective tissues. In this subcategories, we can say that cardio, you will get seven questions, musculoskeletal 10 questions, neuro 9, integumentary 3 and metabolic or endocrine 3, gastrointestinal 2, genitourinary 2 and multiple system involvement 11 questions. The next category what we are going to see here is category D which mainly involves questions related to interventions on adult and the pediatric population. This contains total 37 questions which is 18.55 percentage of NPT exam. In this category mainly it is about motor control, motor learning, physiological response to the interventions as well as sequences, sequencing and applications of appropriate interventions and in this subcategory we can say cardio you will get 7 questions, musculoskeletal 11 questions, neuromuscular 10 questions, integratory 5 questions, metabolic or endocrine 2 questions, gestin sorry gastrointestinal one question, genitourinary one question and multiple system involvement zero questions. Next category my dear friends is category E which basically is all about equipment devices and modalities on pediatric and adult population again in this category mainly 22 questions are asked which is 11 percentage of NPT examination. In this basically it is going to ask about all the modalities and equipments what we use for different conditions on the patient and in this the questions are divided according to the different condition there is no subcategory specifically given for this particular category. Next is category F which is mainly about teaching and learning so this will be more of the research kind of questions will be asked about the teaching and learning methodologies on the different conditions. So here there will be 39 questions asked and which is almost around 19.5 percentage of NPT here as the name suggests teaching and learning related as well as health behavior changes as well as quantitative qualitative interpretation of research types of data collection injury prevention use of proper body mechanics emergency first aid CPR and other relevant stuffs can be asked. In this subcategory is given is teaching, learning and communication will be 11 questions, research and evidence based practice will be 13 questions and safety protection emergencies of healthcare roles will be 15 questions. So this is how this whole NPT examination is divided, these questions are divided in different categories so that you can answer them accordingly. So I hope this information is very useful to you. Uh, to prepare for your NPTE exam. Okay, you ask me from where I have got this information. So I have got this information from the therapy ed book which is specially uh, designed for the NPTE examination. You can also get a copy of that and you can go in detail about this information. And uh, still if you have any doubts regarding NPT exam, please feel free to contact me in the comment section or you can also reach out to me on my Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn profiles. Once again, thank you so much for being on Physio Trends. See you all next time.